Good morning, everybody. I'm the Tech Prepper. I'm going to make a, a quick video today on programming the Baofeng UV5R. And the reason why I want to go through this is we're planning a cross-state trip at the end of the week. And I'm going to be in a couple of different areas. And personally, I would prefer not to have to manually program all the repeaters on a route. So what we'll be looking at is the inexpensive and often hated UV5R, the programming cable, and you can run the software we're gonna use, Chirp, on just about any platform. Uh, I tend to use my Raspberry Pi 3B running Raspbian, and the reason for it is I'm trying to standardize all of my ham radio tools on this device so that I can get ready for more field work. So to be clear, I can run Chirp directly on my laptop, but for the sake of having a nice small package, I want to start getting used to running everything off of the Raspberry Pi. All right, so we're gonna reorient the camera and we'll go through uh, how I like to program my UV5R for the way that I use it on VHF, UHF. Okay guys, so I've got my Baofeng UV5R and the Raspberry Pi is turned on and I am using VNC to connect to it remotely. And the next thing I'm gonna do is just plug in the programming cable, make sure it's secure. Next, from the terminal, we're gonna run chirp. And the first thing I like to do is dump the contents from the radio uh, because it will give me settings uh, beyond just the frequencies and on Linux, um, it's important that you understand your port. Uh, in general, it will be dev TTY USB zero, and then specify your uh, brand or your vendor and model of radio. And mine is the Baofeng UV5R. So this is also, um, can also be used for just about any radio that's supported. I also use it for my Yaesu FT60R. And we get some nice instructions. So the first thing we wanna do is turn on the radio and I'm going to turn the volume up full blast and click OK. And if you look at the USB cable, and I'll link that in the description below, uh, you should see red and green flashing lights um, as it's cloning. And you do need to be careful with the some of the cables online. There are some fakes coming out of China. So I'll link the one that I know works for me from the vendor I bought mine from. And it looks like I, in a previous video, I had imported uh, all of the FRS channelized frequencies. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete this. And at this point, if you want, you can save this uh, so you have a backup. I already do have a backup for this radio, so I'm not going to do that. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do now is go to import from stock config, and I'm gonna import the FRS and GMRS frequencies. And you can see now it's loaded on one through 22. Um, at least for FRS, it's actually kind of nice that it starts on number one um, and ends at 14. And there is overlap between the GMRS frequencies. Again, th this radio um, is not uh, technically FCC compliant because it does allow us to transmit on these frequencies. Uh, but in an emergency, uh, you know, you do whatever you need to do. Okay, now that we have those in there, I want to bring in uh, the simplex frequencies. So we'll go back to import from stock config. And I'm gonna bring in the US calling frequencies. I'm gonna to try to write this to memory 23 and memory 24. So it's at the end of our frequencies. And perfect, so now we have, oh, 23 and 24 right here at the bottom. And the next thing I like to import are the uh, the repeaters. Oh, actually Noah's quite nice to have too. So let's bring in Noah really quickly. So this will give us um, the weather reports for all the Noah stations. And for this one, all I'm gonna do is see if I can, let's do an offset. So let's change the offset by four. Okay, so we're gonna start at channel 
uh, or memory location 30 through 39, click OK. And now if we scroll down a bit, we should see some gaps, but at 30 we should also have our NOAA stations configured. The last thing I'm going to do is use the repeater book integration. So we're going to go query data source. And repeater book um, has a nice app in addition to uh, a website you can download if you just want to add one or two uh, manually. So we're going to go by proximity query. And I'm going to be in the Buckeye area. And I'm going to go ahead and bring in the 70 centimeter band. And there's a second tab that gets populated. Um, it takes a little bit of time to load. Okay, and what I like to do here so I don't muck around too much is I have, uh, let's see, I've got one, two, three, four, five. Got five slots available right there. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut and paste the first five. Three, four, five, and hit copy. And then I'm gonna go back over here and highlight my first empty cell and paste. And there are some that, some uh, frequencies that are not, um, or some repeaters that are not compatible with my radio since it's a it's not a digital radio. So just to recap, we have all of our FRS, GMRS uh, frequencies or channels, and then we have our simplex for two meter and 70 centimeter, and then a handful of repeaters in the area. So at this point now, I'm going to um, upload to radio. And it's the same procedure. We're already plugged in and everything should be good. You can see here we've got the green flashing light. And this usually only takes uh, about you know 20 or 30 seconds. Okay, now that that's done, I'm going to go ahead and turn off the radio, disconnect the cable, and I can go ahead and close out Chirp. So if we come back over here, turn on our radio, we can actually now page through. Right, so we have our FRS uh, channel, number one, on uh, memory number one, and same way, number two maps to FRS two. And we could go all the way backwards so we can see our, our NOAA stations there in the back. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, we're actually approaching 60 uh, subscribers. So again, thank you each and every one of you for uh, subscribing. Uh, please do leave comments. Uh, tell me if you like this video. And be strong, be safe, and think about using Chirp to program your, your radio for uh, wherever you may be. Bye, all.